Hello Beast, got me a Torin, had to beat Grimmatch stick without taking damage to keep things simple and just because using the P-Shooter weapon and the Smoke Death Charm, although alternate weapons such as the Charge Shot and Lobber are really good in this fight also. So Grimmatch stick has got three phases uh, and sort of the most difficult part of this fight is the platforming as there's no fixed base ground, it, we have to jump between all the clouds. Um, so that would really take quite a bit of practice, just getting used to doing that whilst focusing on the attacks. To start the fight off, he does these three rings. Uh, the third one is parryable and they'll attack your last position. So if they fire straight, we're in the air now, so it'll fire up. And then we just avoid being in the last position we were in. Uh, once we've done enough damage to him, he'll then fire four rings in a row, uh, with the fourth one being parryable. But once we've done enough damage in this, in this part, he'll now start firing these fireballs, which will come in in sets of three. Uh, the alternates where he fires the first one up, the next one will be down, and vice versa. Uh, easiest way to avoid these is smoke dash through, but you can also jump through the ceiling uh, to go above them. <clears throat> uh, the tail uh, again appears when you've done enough damage, and it'll stay in one position. So it'll, it'll appear where you are uh, where you were last positioned, and it stays on the same position on the screen, which is important as it means you can jump straight up and let platforms come to you, as it isn't moving across the screen. It's just staying as one point uh, on the screen. Uh, just make sure to remember that when you're trying to dash over it, dash through it, or go around it kind of thing. Um, so after we've done enough damage, uh, the fireballs, he can then fire two at once. Again, the easiest way to avoid that is just smoke dash through it uh, using the iframes. Going into second phase, um, the only attack here is these uh, fireball guys that jump at you. Um, and these jump where you were last posi when you were positioned when they do the crouch. So when it crouches down, if you're on the right side, it'll jump to the right. If you're on the left side when it crouches down, it'll jump to the left. This is important to note because you can be jumping around, but what's important is where you were when it crouched down. If you're on its right side when it crouched, but then immediately dashed over to the left, it'll still jump over to the right side. It's where you were last positioned when it crouched. So it's important to remember that when you're uh, deciding where to jump. Smoke dash can be handy here as well, uh, just in case you misjudge it to uh, just smoke dash and use the iframes to save it as I do there. Uh, it can't get too close to uh, Grim here because uh, he fires fire through his nostrils, so he can't get too close or else we'll get hit by that. But yeah. And when we're on these middle platforms, we sort of have to crouch to make sure we can get the damage in. Yeah, but yeah. It takes a bit of practice that, just being aware of uh, your position when it crouches. Uh, just takes a bit of practice that. And then this third phase, you want to take your time with it. Uh, just getting a few hits in here, moving to the right as soon as the next platform appears. Um, as with those fireballs that it fires, if you destroy them, it'll sprout into four more that go in different directions. Uh, or up, down, left, right. Uh, so I'd say take your time, get a few hits in. Uh, your focus should just be on not, uh, not hitting those too much and breaking them. And try and stay as far right as possible. The second move he's got in this phase is the uh, flamethrower. Uh, that's the tell when it uh, rears back and there's also an audio noise uh, that tells you when he's going to do that. He does two flame sprouts, uh, or two uh, flame throws, I should say. And the best place to be is on top. You can do the EX attacks to attack diagonally down, uh, as well as the safest way because if you're underneath, which you can avoid it that way, if you have to jump to go to a different platform, then you can jump into the flamethrower. So it's much better being on top than below um, because you'll be jumping into it potentially uh, if you can't dash to a platform. But yeah, taking your time, taking a few uh, shots here and there. Main thing is just trying not to avoid, trying to avoid the projectiles and trying not to pop them, kind of thing. But yeah, using all the X attacks up here. But yeah, that's Grim Matchstick. Um, like I say, the hardest uh, point, uh, hardest aspect in this fight is having to focus on both the platforming, as if you fall into into the abyss, <laughs> you will still take a damage. Um, and focusing on the attack, so it does take a bit of practice getting used to that platforming section. Uh, but that should be a good breakdown of the attacks to how to avoid them. Um, if there is any queries, then point them in the comments below. Um, I'm also live on Twitch on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays if you need to ask anything, as well as there's going to be written tips of all his attacks in the description if you need them. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, got some value, then hit that like button, click subscribe, and I shall see you in the next video.